Hi, my name is Grace Spicer. A little bit about me, I'm a current second semester freshman here in Washiacock Hall, and I'm from Metro Detroit. Now, when I think about a student leader, a few qualities that come to mind are caring and acceptance, but most importantly, the ability to listen. Now, I'm a psychology major, and after graduation, one of my goals is to become a therapist and one of the most important qualities of a therapist is their ability to listen. And I think that has always been a passion of mine um, to help those around me. And so I think the student leader position gives me the opportunity to be there for new students and help those in my community. Now um, that kind of takes me to my next point. Um, one reason I would like to be a student leader is to protect my community. It's not often in life that you get the opportunity to work where you live. And I think change starts at home. So if you would like to see an improvement in your community, if you would like to help those around you, start where you live, those closest to you. And I think the student leader position helps you do just that. And another point about that is last year, classes were online. And many of those freshmen who are now sophomores across the country missed the opportunity to live in the dorms as their classes were online, so they stayed home. And I think uh, when they came back to campus this year, many of them opted to live in the dorms rather than the traditional sophomore housing because the dorms are an experience that you do not get probably ever again in life to live in such close quarters with someone, such a close-knit community. And I think as a student leader, I would like to help make that dorming experience great, but also memorable. Now, my background has helped prepare me for the position of student leader in a couple ways. So growing up, and especially in high school, being a role model and helping set expectation for my peers around me has been something that I'm pretty familiar with. Junior and senior year, I participated in a program called Big Brother, Big Sister, where the upperclassman student is assigned a freshman and they sit together at lunch and whether that freshman brings um, homework for them to help with, a problem they need help with, or really just to talk, to know that they have a friend. And that was one of my favorite activities in high school. I participated both as a mentor and a mentee. Being a new student in the school, I saw how much it helped me. And I wanted to you know, turn around and help those new students as well. I was also a member of National Honor Society. Um, community service was a big part of National Honor Society. And setting an expectation for your peers, those your age, those younger than you, and even those older than you, helping tutor students. Um, Another experience that I really enjoyed but also helped me a lot, helped prepare me a lot for this position was my work at Target. I was a guest advocate, so that entails working the checkout lanes, overseeing self-checkout, and guest services. And guest services was one of my favorite positions. Um, you helped with returns, um, helping customers with problems. Honestly, any problem they had, they went to guest service, calling customers over the phone, assisting them virtually. And... In my training, they taught me how to work the actual cash register, the machinery. But one thing they didn't tell me was how to help the people. And I think learning that on my own helped me develop problem-solving skills pretty majorly. Helping um, the people themselves talk it out. There were a few problems that once you sat down, listened to the customer, tried to see what was going on, and tried to understand them. There were a few problems that weren't able to overcome. And another thing I learned from that was, it's not that the customer is always right, but there's always something we can do on our end to help the customer. Now, when I think of the student leader position, one challenge I foresee is resident conflicts. You know, these are kids moving across the country, some of them, um, many of them living on their own for the first time, oftentimes with a roommate who they have never met before. And understandably, there would be uh, disputes between these people. And as a student leader, it's not that I am all-knowing and would know the answer to every problem, but a step I would take to help come to a solution for their problems is really just talk it out. Talk to 
the person who came to me, talk to the other people involved in the conflict, see if we can all talk together and see what changes we can be made because there's no um, room for judgment because the student came to you knowing that the student leader uh, is there to help them and not judge them and see uh, what we can do to overcome conflict. So I think as much as that would be one of my challenges of being a student leader, I think uh, many of the challenge could be overcome pretty fairly. Thank you so much for listening.